All right, Virgo, let's see what your ancestors want you to know. Happy birthday, by the way. And we have the star card. So I definitely feel like they're wanting you to have hope, be inspired, understand that you're being guided and protected. And I feel like there's something where you're going to be put in the spotlight. I feel like this is your wish is coming true. And I feel like you're really being guided and assisted at this time. What else do we have for Virgo? And we have trust your faith dive into the unfolding journey what is your faith asking of you so definitely goes in line with this it's like you know there's a lot of trust involved with faith trusting that you're being protected trusting the guidance that you're receiving and you will be rewarded for that but the star and this card also talk about a journey so this could be an internal journey this could be a journey, you know, these are both card 17, funny. So this could be a journey that you're feeling prompted and guided to go on. What else do we have for Virgo? And we have Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So I definitely feel that there is much assistance for you. And I feel like um, there always there to guide you but it's like there's extra assistance because of something very impactful to your journey and impactful to the world many of you may be light workers may feel a calling to be a light worker all right what else do we have we have the princess of wings the messenger so I feel like there could be a message coming in. This could be an idea. This could be researching, learning something new. But I feel like there's a message that you're meant to give. Maybe you've received a message, a download. And we have the tower crisis. So I feel like there is some type of crisis currently happening or about to happen. And I feel like that's why you're being reminded of how much help you have in the um, spiritual realm because you're going to need it. I feel like this is going to be an upheaval that's, um, that's gonna change your course tremendously, but it's all divine intervention. And so if we can look at it that way, then I think that you're going to be able to maintain um, your sovereignty and your mission. What is the challenge here? And we have the three of roses, the three of wands. So I feel like it, it's like you don't know what's coming up. Um, you've been waiting, but Spirit is saying keep moving because you've already put in the work to see your ships come in you don't have to stand around and wait you you keep working through it is what i'm getting here and we have the princess of gems the ingenue so i feel like this is a huge potential and opportunity um it's just a matter of what are you going to do with that i feel like you're learning something really about yourself you're learning about what you believe in and it's like, it's really giving you a sense of life purpose. What do we have as the outcome? And we have the two of shells, two of cups. So this could be in regard to a romantic relationship. I feel like you've been waiting a long time. Spirit is saying, you know, that you need to invest in yourself before you invest in others. Um, but in the end, that's what's going to happen is a divine connection here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of shells disappointment. So I feel like 
what's happening is that because you've been waiting for a long time, you are regretting some of the decisions that you've made in the past. And Spirit is saying, allow yourself that healing, let go of decisions and events that happened in the past. Allow that healing to come through because you have so much to look forward to. All right, so let's clarify. Show me that princess of wings. And we have the sun. So there is multiple energies of healing, of transformation, of positivity, guidance, protection. Show me that tower. What's, what's going on with this tower? And we have the King of Pentacles. So this could be a previous relationship. This could be um, the loss of a job. This could be, um, this could have to do with father energy I'm getting. This could definitely be something where your business is being affected if you own your own business. Show me that three of roses. And we have the Five of Cups again. So I'm definitely seeing that there's something to do with how you were expecting things to go and feeling disappointment and sadness. And I feel like some of it could be um, regret, guilt, or just mourning the loss of someone. Show me that Princess of Gems. And we have the Three of Cups. So... I definitely see that there is something to celebrate. This is something you're going to come out of, or this is about looking at what you do have and having that um, great, being grateful and appreciative of the blessings that you do have and the opportunities and potentials that you do have. Also the support that you have around you. Show me this two of shells, two of cups. And we have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you're going to be guided and prompted to take action towards this connection. And so I feel like it's all in divine timing though. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. So I feel like this was a conversation that was very hurtful to you and really rocked your world. Um, and I feel like it's ha either just happened, happening right now, or about to happen. And I feel like, you know, the truth came out in this conversation, and it was very hurtful, but it's time to heal. It's time to allow that to be taken off your heart. All right, let's see what your guardian angels have to say. Okay, that one there. Eternity, gently move your awareness from the external world to a world of light within your heart. Allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time. Eternity exists within you, forever sparkling like a diamond. You are, in essence, a shining star, forever transforming to ever greater light. And look at that shining star right there. All right, what guidance do we have? Finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side. And I feel like this is all telling you that you have helpers in other realms. And I feel like you're going to need it. Like an eagle, it is your time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. And let's get one more. You are a being of the universe. Feel the connection. You are never alone. And they have reiterated this about four times in this reading. So I definitely feel like you have the support and the guidance and the protection, um, the comfort that your angels and um, ancestors are bringing towards you. So definitely take them up on their offer, you know. All right, those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.